Hi folks, Jackie D for Jackie D on QVC bringing to you a featurette video this week. Now, today's featurette is about my most favorite number one product host in the history of QVC and it's Joan Rivers. And I'm bringing you this featurette video today because he recently celebrated Joan Rivers 82nd birthday on June 8th. And it really reminded me of how much I absolutely love Joan Rivers. So I wanted to share with you, I guess, my story of how I found Joan Rivers and guess where I found Joan Rivers from watching QVC. Hi, can we talk? Listen, this Saturday evening, I will be joining QVC to introduce my new classics collection of fashion jewelry. It's just beautiful and you are gonna love it. So Joan Rivers joined QVC in 1990, uh, bringing with her her classics collection. I was nine in 1990, and my very first memories of Joan Rivers was watching her on QVC. Um, I thought she was great, I thought she had a lot of energy, I thought she was really funny, and I really enjoyed watching her. Um, as I grew up into a young adult, I, I actually looked more and more into Joan Rivers. Um, I wanted to know what she was all about outside of QVC and outside of the stuff that she sold on the air, and I really loved her. I loved how she was hilarious. I loved that she was uncensored, unapologetic. Um, she was a style icon, and I grew up watching a lot of her shows. So I watched her on Fashion Police, um, I later watched her on her M Melissa and Joan show, um, and, but I always kept in touch with Joan through QVC. I loved watching Joan Rivers on QVC so much that I would actually look at the program guide on QVC and see when the Joan Rivers hours were on and I would DVR them and then come home after work and just watch them. And it wasn't even for the items per se, it was to watch her. I wanted to watch her talk about the items. I wanted to watch her take her necklace and put the different color splotches behind all the necklaces and all the earrings to show all the ways that you could coordinate colors. I loved those color splotches that she had and that she would use them to really showcase all the different ways and how, how versatile all the items were that she brought to us and how stylish and, and all the great stories that she told. I absolutely was enthralled by watching her on QVC and listening to her stories. So QVC was the main way that I absorbed my love for Joan Rivers. Um, so Joan Rivers sold and still sells today um, her classes collection on QVC and it's really all about amazing style. Uh, on trend fashion and we get to get a lot of products from Joan so some of the great lines that she sells on QVC is jewelry in fact it's my probably my most favorite line um, of Joan Rivers is on QVC is her jewelry and accessories she's into really big bold jewelry statements um, beautiful bold necklaces um, this is a pair of earrings I'm wearing from uh, a collection of earrings that Joan sells and in fact my very first Joan Rivers accessory was a, ju a jewelry actually it was these two watches and I actually got them from my mom. So these are two really old Joan Rivers watches. In fact, they're so old that both the batteries are dead in them. And I still wear them to this day uh, frequently and I just wear them without the battery. I don't even use it for time. I just use it as a fashion accessory because that's really what she brought us at QVC was amazing on trend fashion items. I love her scarves um, and I'm excited to say that I actually made a special purchase of Joan Rivers on my 30th birthday. So for my 30th birthday, I went to QVC and I did the all access QVC tour. And after the tour was over, that was my birthday gift to myself, I went to the studio store and I wanted to pick one item from the studio store that I was gonna buy myself for my birthday. And I bought these and these were, these are uh, Joan Rivers sunglasses and they have really pretty crystals here on the edge. Um, and I loved her sunglasses. I would always see them on the air on QVC. So when I found these in the store, and this was my exciting birthday gift to myself for my 30th birthday. So these are my Joan Rivers crystal sunglasses. And I, I mean, I'm a few years older than 30 now and I still wear them all the time. I keep them in my car. They're one of my absolute favorites. So Joan Rivers is probably best known for, or one of her most signature pieces, I should say, are her bee pins. So Joan Rivers has an amazing story about this bee pin that was given to her by her husband. Essentially, she was being told by tons of people that she was never gonna make it, um, and that she wasn't gonna amount to anything, and then she went ahead and proved them all wrong. And when she you know, went ahead and, and, and really achieved what she was looking to achieve, her husband had bought her this bee pin, and he bought it for her because he said the bee represented the ability of doing something that really on paper you shouldn't be able to do. So essentially the bee is, is a weird shape, right? It has a big big rear end and, and little tiny legs and, and little wings, but for some reason still able to fly when 
really it should be not able to fly. Um, so it's really a story about achieving the impossible and making anything possible that you can dream of. Um, so she makes these really pretty bee pins to sort of represent that, you know, achieving the impossible. Um, and they're all different, they're really cool. There's, you know, Fourth of July ones and flower ones and, and you can collect them and they're really, really pretty. And I think that's one of her, um, for me, it's one of the coolest items that, that's sold on QVC. That's her signature item and her accessories are these little bee pins. So I really recommend checking those out. Um, she's also really well known for her clothing. So besides scarves and accessories and jewelry, sunglasses, she also has really nice classic clothing pieces. And in fact, this is a shirt of hers that I purchased. Um, I wear it to work and it's really pretty. It's a really nice jersey material and I like it because it has this little tying neck feature. So you can actually, I have it just kind of loosely tied here with the top knot, but you can tie it in a bow, you can leave it loose, you can throw it around your neck like a little scarf. So it's like all these little um, different ways that you can wear it, little versatile ways. And she has this really nice, pretty classic clothes. She stresses, and, and one of the best clothing items for her are her jackets. So she stresses how just putting on a nice sports coat, a nice jacket really can tie together an entire outfit. Um, and I think that's a really great thing that she brings. She also brings beautiful, beautiful trench coats. If you want a signature beautiful trench coat, Joan Rivers is the first place you should look. Um, and she's really all about bringing us the styles in her collections that are gonna be timeless. Um, that are gonna be beauty at all ages. Um, and I love that she would always share stories with us on the air of visiting a really expensive store. Um, and Joan would always name that store and you were never supposed to do that on QVC. She, they never named the actual brand of clothing that's something similar to or the line of clothing or the store, but she would always go, oh, I don't care about the rules. And she would say, I saw these glasses in this store and they were $500. And I'm gonna bring you a replica of it for 30. And I love that. I love that she saw the value in something and that you didn't have to have these designer sunglasses that cost $500 when she could make the same exact carbon copy for us and we could afford them at $30. I thought that was so great. And she did that with a lot of her designs, a lot of her jewelry. It didn't need to be hundreds and thousands of dollars to be really beautiful and a really good quality too. It wasn't like cheap cost himself. It was really great quality. I mean, you saw my watches, they're super, super old and I still wear them, you know, to this day and they're in perfect, um, perfect order. So outside of enjoying Joan Rivers' collection on QVC and watching Joan Rivers on QVC, I've also gone ahead and watched um, her movies. So she actually has a documentary called Joan Rivers, A Piece of Work. And if you really want to truly understand who Joan Rivers is at her core as a person, how she spent so much of her time giving and loving others and doing for others selflessly, she's probably one of the most selfless people I've ever you know, known about after watching this documentary. I highly suggest that you watch this documentary. It is amazing how hard she worked, so hard, and how many people she took care of. So, so selfless, worked so hard, and I absolutely love the documentary. I highly recommend that you watch it. So I'm really, really sad to say that one of my most recent memories of Joan is actually um, when she passed away. And I remember where I was when I found out that she was in the hospital. Um, I was actually on a business trip, so I was overseas in Europe. Um, and I was really devastated and really scared for the entire time that she was in the hospital. And um, my husband was texting me daily and giving me updates and I would wake up in the morning, I would refresh my phone and I would just pray, 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 pray that she was gonna be okay. Um, and when we lost Joan, I remember I was in Europe and I was really, really, really sad. Um, but what's funny about it, ironically funny, um, is that when I was in Europe and I'd gotten this news and I was really sad about it, um, I've actually spent a weekend in Paris, France, so I got to have a vacation. Um, and while I was in Paris, I went and visited the Cathedral of Notre Dame. So while I was there at the cathedral, there's an area where you can light candles, you know, to be reverent, to say a prayer for somebody. So I thought, this is my moment. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna light a candle for Joan because I'm really, really upset that we lost Joan. I love her so much. I'm so sad she passed away. I'm gonna go light this candle in her memory, in her honor in this church. So I went and I lit the candle and I said my prayer and then I, I walked over and my husband was there and I said to him, you know, I just, you know, lit this candle in honor of Joan. To which he looked at me and said, you know she's Jewish, right? To which I just started to crack up uncontrollably. Here I am in a Catholic church, 
in Paris, France, thinking I'm doing this reverend thing, lighting a candle for her, and it's not even the same religion. And it was hilarious because I was so like dumbfounded and, and embarrassed, and yet I thought this is the best thing ever because this is classic Joan humor. And she would find this hilarious that I chose to honor her by going into a church that's not even her religion and lighting a candle for her. And that I had the best of intentions, but it was just hilarity that sort of, you know, brought Want me to the fact that this is not even the right religion, Jackie. Um, but it made me laugh and it made me inappropriately laugh in a church, so I just immediately started getting shushed by everybody around me. But that entire that entire episode, that entire event really for me was my like special nod to Joan Rivers. My special here's Jackie lighting a candle in, in the, the wrong faith church for Joan, and then uncontrollably laughing when she realizes it so much so that people around her are like shh 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 because I'm being disrespectful in the church. So that was my my favorite Joan Rivers memory, and it's ironic that it came from my most recent memory, which is really a sad one, but it, it ended on a high note, on a, in a laugh. And I know Joan would appreciate that it ended with a laugh, um, and if anybody could appreciate that, it would definitely be Joan Rivers. So while Joan is no longer with us, we still have her collection on QVC, and I'm excited to say that David Dangle is just knocking it out of the park as a longtime friend of Joan's, um, you know, who's been with Joan as the CEO of Joan Rivers Worldwide, as a friend, as a collaborator, um, has been in the business for more than 25 years. So he knows fashion, he knows fashion, he's in New York, um, he's worked in the theater, worked in TV design, so he definitely can live on her legacy. If anybody can do it, it's him. He's been with her the entire time, the entire ride, and I know from her documentary how she keeps the people closest to her that she loves the most. And, and that, you know, are the best people. So to watch David with her all the time that she was on TV, doing chatting with us and, and checking Facebook with us and then able to carry on for her, um, you know, I'm, I love him for that. So thank you, David, for still bringing us the amazing fashions, um, keeping us on trend, keeping the pins coming, um, keeping all the clothing and the accessories coming and just really living on for her because I love you so much as well. As, and I thank you for, for keeping the collection coming to QVC in her honor. So right now, I'm reading this book, and it's called The Book of Joan, and it's written by Melissa Rivers. Um, and I'm excited, and I'm about a third of the way through, and it's a really great book about personal stories of jo you know, Joan um, and Melissa as they, as they, as really Melissa grew up with her mother. Um, and I can appreciate this, right? As somebody who got my love of QVC from my mom, I can appreciate uh, Melissa's stories with her mom. So um, just wanted to share that with you, so if you're interested in, in learning a little bit more, a little peek behind the curtain from Joan, I highly recommend her documentary, and I also recommend recommend um, picking up this book and then obviously QVC right David's still carrying on the collection on QVC it's he's still bringing us amazing things I'm still buying um, and I will keep buying uh, forever because I think it's a great collection and while unfortunately Joan's no longer with us she will always be with me in my jewelry box in my closet um, around my neck with my scarves and, and, and all my face with my stylish Joan River sunglasses. So, um, Joan, this is for you, my favorite product host of all time. Um, may you make somebody laugh wherever you are. I'm sure you're the best dressed person wherever you are right now. I thank you so much for everything you brought to QVC. I love you. You are my most favorite product host ever in the history of QVC. Thanks for watching my featurette episode this week on Joan Rivers. I hope that you also like Joan Rivers. So if you can subscribe, like, and share to Jackie D on QVC and share with me maybe a comment in this video. Um, you can also check me out on my website, JackieDionQVC.com. I'm on Facebook and Instagram. Tell me a little story that you have about your love for Joan Rivers. I would absolutely love for you to share that with me.